Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. In this video, we're going to go over how to make a full Chris Lake or Dirty Bird style drop with a free download link of the serum patches that I use in the description. And before we begin, just make sure to click that subscribe button to ensure that you don't miss out on any of the new weekly content. Alright, so let's have a listen to what we're going to make today. Alright, so we'll just begin with the drums, which sound like this. So we've got a basic thumpy kick here, which I've just transposed down one semitone to get into key with the song. And that's basically all I've done for the kick. Now for the claps, I started with a full drum loop like this. but I wanted to make my own drums obviously, so I've chopped it up and just taken the clap from that loop. And that just had a tiny bit of reverb on there. And then I had a wet snare as well, which is the same snare copied over, just with some more reverb on it, and a boost in the 1K range. And so together they just sound like this. And it's a very slight adjustment, but it just helps the snare to sound better in the mix and not sound so programmed. Okay, so we did the same thing with the hats. I took the same loop as before from the snares, and I just soloed out the hats and placed them how I wanted them. And then you can see I've got a dry one here. And then I've got a wet one here. So together, they just sound like this. So then I've just got this little reverse bit here. This sort of pulls the drums together and continues them through the song and gives it that extra little bit of motion. From there, I have another layer of hats, which just adds to the dynamics and the overall sound of the drums. And then in the second half of the drop, I have this shaker that comes in. This keeps the listener interested as there's always something changing in the song. And then finally, at the very end, I have these pitched rim shots here. So I've just put a bit of reverb on there and EQ'd it. And then I've transposed this one up one octave. This one up seven semitones. And then this one I've just left how it is. And then you can just hear, when you listen back to it, the cascading effect that you feel as the pitch is shifted down. Finally, I just had these FX sweeps for the build. And then just a really simple snare build as well. Now for the bass line, I have a low and a high synth, with the low one sounding like this. And the high sounds like this. And then both together. Just a reminder as well that both of these serum patches will be available for free for download in the description below. But for the low synth, it's just super simple. It's a square wave, pitched down one octave, got a lower decay and a lower sustain. And then on this one as well, we've just made a sort of pluck envelope and then we've dragged it onto the cutoff, turn up the resonance a bit. And then just drag this up a bit like that. And then just some simple distortion, soft clip, turn the drive up a little bit 
and the mix all the way up. And then I've just EQ'd out the highs in here. And I've just side changed it as well to the kick. So now we have the high synth. This one's also really simple. It's made out of a saw wave with two voices of unison. And then it's a very similar patch to the previous one with the lower decay and sustain and the same pluck envelope here dragged onto the cutoff. And then we've got the same distortion with a little bit more drive. We've added the ping pong delay as well on quarter notes with the mix at 10%. And then I've added a very small bit of reverb with the mix at 6%. And then a compressor is actually turned off so I don't need that. So I've really EQ'd this one out. And the reverb here is just for in the build. The reverb builds up and it washes the sound out. And then we've just got a bit of a glue compressor gluing it together and a compressor side chain to the kick. So I've also set some automation to the drive of the distortion and of the filter cutoff. So this is a distortion drive one and a filter cutoff one. And I'll just play this bit here so you can see what it's doing. And that's just there to sort of keep the song flowing and moving and constantly changing as we go. Okay, so now moving on to the lead sounds. What I started with was this sound here. And what I turned it into was this. So to achieve this, I've just taken very small snippets, like a 16th note here, and I've repeated that over and over, just like this one here, and then I've EQ'd it, so it's less harsh, added an overdrive, vintage Valhalla reverb, and then for this one here, it's just a, it's just the sound, but in reverse. So I've taken the beginning of this sound, of this top sound, and what I've done is I've added a long reverb tail, and then I've frozen it and reversed it, and it ends up flowing into the other one like this. And then for this one here, it's a very similar story. I've just got the Overdrive Valhalla Vintage Reverb, and then the EQing, and I've just taken another small bit. And then for this part here, on the initial drop, That's just a couple different sounds. This one's just the same again. Cool, so that's that. Um, so it actually, it is really simple to do, but you just have to kind of play around a bit to find a good, a good sound within this. And to do that, what I did was I've just, what I do is you just highlight a tiny bit of it and then you can scroll through with it. So that sounds quite similar to what I've taken. You get the point. So you just want to scroll through finding those care little gems of sound that you can use for your lead. Alright, so for the effects we've got this sound here. Which without any effects on it you can hear that it is just me making that sound. It's just a sort of airy element to fill in some of the gaps in the frequency spectrum. And then I've got this one here, which is sort of the same thing, just a bit more aggressive. And then some sort of just typical riser sounds that I've got here to just glue it all together. and everything within the effects has a reverb on it, a bit of delay, 
and and some automated EQ as well. So as it goes up through the song, the EQ gets higher and higher. And then it all gets brought back again for the drop. All right, so thanks for watching. And once again, this is what the drop sounds like.